And here is the young man Fitzpatrick. Third shot at the par four. 29th in the world. Back in Memphis, and Fitzpatrick has this for par at the seventh. Well done. Four straight birdies to start the day for Matthew Fitzpatrick. <laughs> this is how you read green. Severe fall off to left, left of the pin, so players need to keep this right of the hole. Imagine no more than an eight iron for Matthew. As we follow along with top tracer technology and it's heading dangerously left. And lucky to catch the bunker there actually. That's better than missing long left. Over at eight, Matthew Fitzpatrick coming from the greenside bunker. One of the first wayward shots we've seen him hit today. A little aggressive with that one, but really great young player. Made the Ryder Cup team back at Hazeltine. And up at eight, Matthew Fitzpatrick choosing to leave the pin in as we've seen several times today and misses that one left. And that'll be his first bogey of the day as he falls back to six under par for the tournament. Excuse me, five under, oh no, six under. Disappointing iron shot there. Joining us here at the 18th as we take you back to the ninth, Fitzpatrick with his second. Just about over the top of the flag stick for Matthew Fitzpatrick. Go back to nine and leaving the flag stick in. For Fitzpatrick's birdie, gets a seven under. Back to seven under after a bogey at eight. And he's now the leader by himself. John Rahm bogeys at three and four to drop to six. He'll yeah. take you back to ten. He's ready. You actually want to take this flag on. Explain there in a minute. I think it's a difficult pop from front and middle. Well, that actually won't be too bad. There's a little tongue on that left side. So there's a little bit of room to work with, but awkward shaped green. To ten. Fitzpatrick up and over a hill. It's such a small piece of green where that flag is cut or that hole is cut today on this 10th hole. So I didn't say it'll play over par despite the fact that we have 63 of the game's best players playing this week. To 11. And the Island Green par 3 11th, our leader, Matthew Fitzpatrick. Coming up quite a bit short there. You know, we've seen a lot of the Bombers play well here at TPC Southwind, but in the past we've had winners like Brian Gay and Ben Crane, so the shorter, more accurate hitters do have a chance around TPC Southwind, so no surprise to see Matthew playing well. That's kind of his M.O. To 12, this is the par four wrapping around the penalty area. Well, this is, get your nerve ends going with this whole location. Oh, great shot. I don't even 120 yards, so you're not really thinking of it, but... If you touch the rough and start looking at that flag, good luck. And that is a virtual tap in for Fitzpatrick. Interesting, he's decided on the flag in on uh, just about everything. Your thoughts on flag in versus flag out? Well, it's, well, it's kind of got a, gone a bit quiet, hasn't it? It was such, such drama at the beginning of the season. Across to 13. The leader, Matthew Fitzpatrick. Good drive, just 170 to a whole cut front right. Very gettable today, especially with this iron play so far. Ooh, that is a poor one. Uh, we got a Fitzpatrick. And he's chipping cross handed. BJ Singh's right there. <laughs> to 14. And our first look at the very difficult par three. 14th playing the most difficult of the four par threes by a long ways. Absolutely no bailout today. And Matthew Fitzpatrick did not bail out. Took it right at it. Comes up about 20 feet short. Matthew Fitzpatrick for birdie. Said earlier how difficult this hole is playing. Closest to the pin so far, 10 feet 11 inches by Matthew Wolf. Playing 212 yards today. And 
Obviously trouble all over. If you miss left, it's a difficult bunker shot and water short and right. So happy to take make par and go to the 15th. To 15th. And Fitzpatrick with his second at the par four, or his third rather, birdie yeah. putt at the par four. Bounce started to feed down, but no damage. Let's go up to 16 and Frank Nabilo. Thank you, Fitzpatrick. Remember, in trouble off the tee. So, third shot to here. This putt, I know, goes right. It goes right. He's read it. He's read. Oh, he has stolen one there. Stolen it. Two shot lead. Trying to hit a little hold off fade there. Working it's in not, this right location. Yeah, it's not going to fade. Yeah, that's a popular spot. We've seen a lot of guys putt from there. It breaks a lot around the hole, and I think that's where guys have been a little bit tricked. And now Matt Fitzpatrick to clean up his par. Ches Reeby just made the first birdie of the day here at 17. And now back on the tee. This is Fitzpatrick. Yeah, great tee shot for 18. There you go, a little low fade, keep it away from the water. And Fitzpatrick's second shot on the way at 18. Nine iron on the way, 165, excuse me. Nice balance on that one as well. Fitzpatrick has this for a round of 64. Yeah, no break in this one. Pretty simple. And that is his career low on the PGA Tour. He had shot 65 three times before, most recently, most memorably, in the second round of the PGA Championship this year. And he goes one better here in Memphis. Well, we see Matthew Fitzpatrick shoot the lowest round he's ever had on the PGA Tour with a 64. The guys were talking about the U.S. Amateur. Of course, Matthew Fitzpatrick went to college in the United States. We're both just joking how we picked the wrong day to wear all black, but you may have to wear it again after today's performance. Let's talk about it. Speaking of hot, the iron play has been exceptional. 13 greens yesterday, 15 today. What's been the change or sort of the revamp with this golf course and the iron play? Um, my irons have been pretty good all, all year, to be honest. Um, the, my putt has been what I've been struggling with, so. Um, that's obviously uh, done, done well so far this week, but uh, I have to admit, a little surprised at how the golf course is playing. Uh, played Tuesday, gave myself absolutely no chance. Uh, it was soaking wet. It was, you know, four iron into nine. It's so many long clubs today. It's a lot firmer, a lot faster, and I, I hit gap wedge into into nine. So it's uh, it's a hell of a difference. Maybe uptick would be a better word than than revamp because when you think about these greens, last season the fourth hardest on the PGA Tour to hit. You're second in proximity. When you do that, how much does that free up the putter? Definitely. You know, I, I think uh, if you can just keep giving yourself a lot of chances, um, playing playing to the smart areas of the green, and um, hopefully there should be less mistakes. Uh, I think you can sort of get behind the eight ball and, and start chasing it and then you miss a few greens in the wrong spots and uh, then it gets away from you. Obviously a lot at stake for you this week. You have special temporary membership right now on the PGA Tour. The only way for you to qualify for the playoffs is to win. You're obviously in good position for that. How do you take that pressure off of yourself and chase that PGA Tour title? Uh, I'd plan three weeks off to be honest so uh, you know if uh, if I win it's brilliant and, uh, and sort of an added bonus getting into the playoffs but uh, if not then I've got some nice time off but um, you know obviously I'd love to win um, winning a WGC is uh, is obviously a goal of mine um, but uh, you know we're only halfway through the through the, through the tournament so hopefully uh, just, just keep pushing on and uh, see where we end up. Postponing some off time would certainly be a good problem to have well played Matt. Thank you. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.
Tschüss.